The origin of airbags. From 1950s experiments to life-saving tech, when you sit in a car today, you probably don't even think about airbags. They're just, they're silent, hidden, and ready to save your life in a split second. But airbags weren't always part of driving. In fact, their story begins with a few wild experiments in the 1950s. The first patent for something like an airbag was filed in 1951 by an engineer named Walter Lindor in Germany. His idea was simple, a cushion that would inflate during a crash. But there was a problem. His system relied on compressed air, which wasn't fast enough. By the time the airbag inflated, the crash was already over. In the United States, engineer John Hetrica, Navy industrial engineer, also came up with the idea in the early 1950s, inspired by how compressed air systems worked in aircraft. He filed a patent for what he called a safety cushion. But again, the technology of the time wasn't advanced enough to make it practical. The breakthrough came in the 1960s and 70s. Scientists realized that instead of slow compressed air, they could use a tiny explosive charge to deploy the bag in milliseconds. Suddenly, airbags weren't just an idea, they were possible. Car companies began experimenting. Ford and General Motors tested airbags in the 1970s, but they were far from perfect. Early versions sometimes failed to deploy, or worse deployed when they weren't supposed to. People were skeptical. Some even thought airbags were more dangerous than helpful. But the persistence paid off. By the 1980s, airbags were becoming safer and more reliable. In 1981, Mercedes-Benz became the first car maker to install airbags in production cars offering them as an option in the S-Class. In the U.S., Chrysler was the first to make driver-side airbags standard in 1988. From there, airbags spread rapidly. In 1998, the U.S. made dual-front airbags mandatory in all new cars. Since then, airbags have evolved beyond just protecting drivers. We now have side airbags, curtain airbags, knee airbags, even airbags for motorcycles and bicycles. Studies show that airbags have saved tens of thousands of lives worldwide. What started as a clunky, it's an unreliable idea in the 1950s, is now one of the most important safety features ever invented. So the next time you hear that loud pop in a crash, remember you're experiencing over 70 years of engineering packed into a fraction of a second.